What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some crashing issues that's happening with the Elder Scrolls Online on the console side of the game. And this seems to be an issue for both old gen and new gen on the Xbox and PlayStation uh, as well. So it seems like both console versions of the game and both consoles are having some issues. There's a lot of Xbox players out there reporting endless load screens where they can just load up the game and nothing will ever happen. You know, they might be able to select their character and actually start going into the game, but the load screen just continues to go on and on and on. You know, you never are able to log into the game. Some people are reporting they have to close the app and then actually go in and close their uh, Xbox console and then try to go back in. Some people say that works, some say it does not. But over the last 24 to 48 hours, a lot of Xbox players have been reporting this issue. And in that same time frame, a lot of PlayStation players have been reporting the issue of where they're just going to be kind of in the middle of the game playing and the game crashes and goes back to the character select load screen. So just kind of out of nowhere, you know, it doesn't give you, uh, you know, some kind of, you know, warning or doesn't, you know, really freeze up and give you the error codes that we've seen in the past, you know, where it says it can't connect to the server or something like that. It doesn't freeze up. It's just players are playing and then it's just kicking them completely back to that character select screen. And all of these issues on each console seem to be happening on old gen and new gen versions of the game. So when I was first hearing about this, I thought maybe it was just some kind of issue with the older gen version of the game or the newer gen version of the game, but that does not seem to be the case. It seems that all of these problems are happening, you know, kind of just on specific consoles, but it's not really tied to one particular, you know, console version of the Elder Scrolls Online. Now I talked about this back when we first heard that there was going to be a new gen version of the game kind of coming an enhanced version for new generation consoles and i said it was going to be kind of difficult for zos to be able to keep up with all the issues that they could have between two different consoles because yes they are the same you know maker so you know an xbox is still made by microsoft you know a ps4 and ps5 is still made by uh sony but having different updates different you know abilities within the console itself you know one being more powerful than the other whatever the case may be I was kind of curious how they were going to keep all of these updates going with two different platforms, uh, you know, for each individual console, just because there's a lot of things that could go wrong, you know, in general, when it comes to, you know, an update for, for just, you know, Xbox and PlayStation. But when you're having to deal with two different versions of the game for two different platforms, and then of course, and then of course you have to add PC on top of that. Uh, of course, I know we don't have the exact same updates always that they do but that's still just a lot to keep up with so that could be some of the issue right now it could be something that can get worked out very quickly but if you are seeing uh, these issues if you're having these issues yourself definitely make sure you're reporting them making a ticket letting Zoss know i've not been able to play a lot as of late as most of you know i am in the process of moving for where i live now and buying a new house and that's process is probably going to be going on for a while longer so it may be a while before i can get on and actually play a lot so i've not been able to experience this myself because i've not played you know, several, several hours a day, every day to be able to see if it's happening on my end on PS5. But just be aware if you are on Xbox, if you're uh, experiencing that endless load screen, or if you are on PlayStation, you're giving that problem when the game is crashing and sending you, sending you back out to the character select screen. You're not alone. Make sure that you are reporting these problems because I have seen these issues uh, being talked about a lot over the last 24 to 48 hours. To begin with, I thought maybe it was just a couple players, but it seems like it's uh, a bigger issue than just a few players here and there because there's been a lot of people saying that they're having these particular issues on their particular platform anyway leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you liked it hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so be sure to check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliates here on the channel empire jerky and amazon associates and i'll catch you all next time peace